South African Winelands pre-World Cup 2010 paragliding competition brought to you by Exact Track and XCComps.net. Portable, situated 140 kilometers north of Cape Town, has an active sky and powerful thermals provide ideal conditions for cross-country flying. This is an ideal opportunity for international pilots to test the local conditions in preparation for the 2011 World Cup event later this year to be held at this same venue. Saturday the 11th of December, the Swartland town of Portoville started to buzz as some 120 pilots from all over the world and some from across South Africa gathered at the Portoville Hotel to register for the week-long paragliding event. Most of the pilots airborne and the gliders positioned in the start cell, the South African Winelands pre-World Cup 2010 gets underway towards the north along the ridge to Bumpy Peak. Well, oh, nerves is there, but um, at least everything is running smooth. At times, the gusting winds make launch conditions a little tricky but the ever-efficient launch site crew were always on hand to assist. In total, 115 pilots successfully launched to make up the field for the first day's task. headed out north along the ridge of the Olifants River mountain range. Slope soaring is dependent on steady wind conditions resulting in a steady progress to turn one. Here the field spreads out as the pilots search for thermals to gain altitude en route to turn point two out in the flatlands at Indercale. Often there is strong sink surrounding thermals and there's also strong turbulence resulting in wing collapses as a pilot tries to enter a strong thermal. This was unfortunately the undoing of a few pilots who pushed the envelope and succumbed to the flatland conditions what over happened? the N7 highway. <laughs> I flew really badly. I tried to come out to look for a thermal in the flatland and didn't find one. No, I just pushed too much speed bar. There's a bit of sink, more than I anticipated, so... Try to win the comp in the first day doesn't always work. <laughs> I'm still learning. I'm a first time uh, competition uh, pilot, so yeah, I enjoyed the flight out now, but um, I'm not used to flying in the sort of summer conditions in Portable. I make some mistakes, and so that's why I'm on the ground. Flew too low, wanted to go too fast, and so I'm here. Learn from my mistakes to do better tomorrow, I hope. It's uh, strong, very strong, but uh, very, very nice. The awesome flying conditions saw 70 out of the 115 starters reach goal. After an elapsed time of one hour, 32 minutes, first in goal at Constriction was Paul Schmidt from Belgium and winning the ladies category was Chrissy Drunk some 26 minutes later. Back at the meet centre at the Portoville Hotel, it was time to reflect on the day's flying, what worked and what went wrong. <laughs>